We use these elements every day in our cars, smartphones, and computers. They are the so-called rare earth elements. Rare earth elements are widely dispersed in the earth's crust and difficult to mine. One of them is neodymium. This silver gray element is precious due to its malleability and ductile properties. Combined with iron, it is used in the manufacturing of very powerful magnets, which are employed, for example, in wind turbine engines. A single magnet can contain 500 kilos of neodymium, but neodymium also has other powers. Indeed, we now know that the ocean, like the Earth, has its own history. To understand its secrets, we had to wait for the advances of modern geochemistry in the 1980s. Until recently, it was difficult to identify the geographical origin of the seawater in a sample. Today, by analyzing rare earth isotopes, such as those of neodymium, researchers are able to identify where seawater masses on the planet come from and what their composition is. That is, by determining the composition of neodymium atoms present, they can accurately trace the origin of a sample and map the different types of composition. The warm colors reflect water influenced by the erosion of young basaltic soils or volcanic emissions. On the other hand, water from regions with old granitic soils is represented in cold colors. Thanks to its tracer properties, neodymium allows us to better understand the mechanisms of land ocean inputs and of ocean circulation. It's not only an element that meets the growing industrial and energy transition needs, it's also a bearer of valuable natural information. It sheds light on the complex flows between land and sea, which contribute to regulate our climate.